Quarantine Cocktail Talking Wine again. We're talking about tannins today. In case you don't know what they are, I'm here to tell you. So for instance, you go in to the liquor store, you pick up a bottle and you might see on the back all that gobbledygook they put there. And in there is firm tannins on this particular bottle of wine from Chile. No sponsorship, by the way, but $3 off. Picked it up today. Looking forward to it with some steak. So yes, firm tannins in this Chilean bottle of wine. What do they mean by that? Well, you got to understand what tannins are and where they come from. My high budget graphics, they pick the grapes and then they squash them. They go in a vat and they sit, if it's red wine, on skins, uh, stems, seeds, all that stuff. It sits there for a long time. And the longer it sits there, the more flavors it draws out of the tannins. So in other words, uh, if you ever had a grape seed and you bit into it, that feeling from grape seed, or the feeling on the inside of your mouth when you've had strong tea, that kind of furry feeling, that's tannins. It's from the stems, the seeds, the skins, all those different kind of textures being drawn into the wine. And then after they find the wine or strain it, it's going into the bottle there and you can enjoy it, minus the seeds and the stems, which are getting those textures and flavors. So let's have a taste right here. Firm tannins, it said, in a Cabernet Sauvignon. And there they are. This is why people mistake it for calling it dry. It's not dryness. That's the sweetness thing we talked about. Tannins inside of the mouth makes you want to pucker up. It's like when you bit into that grape seed. Those are tannins, firm tannins, high tannins, that kind of thing. You won't find tannins in white wine. Why? They don't sit on the skins like that or the stems or the seeds. You got to have it in the red wine. Have a good weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.